Uh, I'm sure that many of you have experienced uh, very experienced dizziness when standing up right after lying down, uh, dry skin, headaches, dry mouth, and being very sleepy and tired. This is all due to dehydration. <clears throat> this happens when our water intake is very, very low. Water is something very special because not only is it for our bodies, but it's for everyday life, plants, and also animals. Me, I'm a person that just loves to drink water. I don't know what it is, I just drink water. Um, I'll go days drinking it, and sometimes I'll, you know, I'll crave some orange juice or like Coke or something. But me, I just drink water. <clears throat> Even though water has no flavor, many of us tend not to drink it because it has no flavor, but it really has a major effect on our body. <clears throat> uh, water helps with blood circulation, uh, body temperature, as well as many other bodily functions. Uh, today I'll be going over the importance of water on the earth and also, how it plays, and also how it plays a major role on our bodies. So water is the most important substance on our, all plants and animals must have water to survive. According to Jonas uh, Matron, through a series of biochemical reactions, plants are able to convert two water molecules into oxygen. This means no water, no oxygen, no oxygen, no breathing. Water is a source of pretty much everything on this earth. Uh, one thing I have noticed uh, over the years, <clears throat> it's, it's been getting very hot during the wintertime, through the fall. And uh, so when California was in a drought, uh, I had noticed the plants on my lawn, the, the grass on my lawn was getting dry. Uh, no water from the, from the sky. <laughs> so uh, everything began to you know, dry out. <clears throat> also, animals live off water. Without water, without water, they do not live. Most, actually, I should say, most animals live off water. But when ponds and lakes dry up, animals die, begin to travel in search of water. Our body functions the same way, like plants and animals. We strive in body. Our bodies need the water. <clears throat> our bodies need water in order to function the right way. According to James uh, McIntosh, to function popular, properly, all the cells and organs of the body need water. It is also used to lubricate the joints, protect the spinal cord and other sensitive tissues, regulate body, regulate body temperature, and assist the passage of food through the intestines. Water helps with numerous of, numerous of body functions, such as, such as uh, improving the immune system, helps to lose weight, and also helps the skin to, tie, to be tight and give off a great complexion. Water also helps with cramps and strains. Uh, I have noticed uh, when I used to play baseball, I, uh, after lifting, I would work out, and you know, hours later after resting, I would uh, get cramps and strains in my muscles. Drinking water, and also actually eating bananas helps, but uh, drinking water is actually a main source in uh, curing cramps and strains. <clears throat> Therefore, in uh, in conclusion, water should be drank by everybody. Uh, you know, I'm not saying all the time, but you know, we should drink water. It helps with uh, everything in our body. Uh, basically, we need water to survive. Uh, without water, we cannot survive. And also, as well as plants and animals, they need water. All right, Chris, what did you think? Um, I thought his topic was very clear, you know, to drink water. And um, <laughs> um, uh, he organized it pretty well, I guess. And um, he concluded it pretty well, too. You get what I'm saying? I just drink water.
All right, well, I thought the visualization at the beginning was okay. You've got a nice personal expression of what your point of view is as well. There's a clear uh, purpose statement, that's fine. And then after that, everything is really just basic informative speech. There's not really a lot of stuff that suggests that a problem exists. I don't think anybody here believes that they can exist without water. I don't think that that's very controversial. What you need to do is you need to show us that we're not getting enough water, that people fail to consume as much water as they would need, that there are benefits to t consuming uh, water. Again, I don't think there's a lot of dispute about that, but you, what you need to do is you need to sell people on the idea of consuming water. If you could show, for example, that people are consuming other liquids as replacements of water and that that's creating a problem, that I think would make your argument a little bit more, uh, would make your subject a little bit more argumentative and persuasive. As it is, it's just kind of generic. You know, plants need water, animals need water, you're a human being, you need water. And I'm going, this is news? You know, this, is, this seems like it's, it's pretty obvious stuff. Uh, you need to, and then, you know, how much water do we need? Are we not, you know, are, how, could, how could you make it easier for us to uh, get into doing this? Uh, how can you motivate us to do this a little bit more? I'm just, I'm not sure that you've, you've given it much development. And there's not really any source citation of material here, you know, it's, except for the very basic stuff that you have, uh, which is factual data for the most part. I think you've got you know, a generic, um, statement about the importance of water without necessarily making it, like I said, persuasive or argumentative. And I got to disagree with Chris, you know, when, when you finish with that's it, that's the porky pig exit. You got to have a better exit line than that. All right. Thank you. So drink up.